Good morning. As this is going so badly with that, that it's still not working, even though I replace my most lost uh, most logic chips and stuff like that. Still don't get a picture. Um, so I guess what I might as well do is suck it up. Um, all the RAM chips, and I think this 555 timer chip, I think it's time what you're saying. I uh, don't have a spare one of these, as I said before, don't have a spare one of uh, whatever this is, uh, 357, 350, well, whatever it is, I still don't have it. Um, so I might as well just, as I've pretty much socketed everything else bar the uh, basic, and that's the kernel, well, these two ROM chips, I haven't, I haven't done these two. Um, might do those, because I'm running out of things to socket. There's got to be something here. Uh, but anyway, might as well do these. So, um, so yeah, so cue this. I'll test it. It's going to have a black screen. I know it's going to have a black screen. So, but at least it's socketed, which makes things easier to um, test and switch around uh, as necessary. So, it wasn't really working properly anyway. So, the fact that I've done this, and I do have a working Commodore 64, and one to eight, which I still need to play with. Um, yeah, I will well just do these. So I've got the desoldering gun turned on. I have my coffee, which I've made. So uh, let's get to it.
Okay. Uh, literally everything is now soldered, apart from those two chips, uh, which I don't think are a problem, but hey, what do I know? Because I don't seem to know very much. Uh, so let's give this a go. Just going to, let's just split this up. Um, Stop the composite on there. Obviously, uh, what we've got new ground chips, this timer chip's the same, this logic chip, whatever it is, is the same, the color RAM is the same. Replace one of the chips in the VIC2 compartment here. Got a different PLA here. Um, got the original CPU, the original uh, SID chip. Um, but pretty much everything else, okay, got the original CIA chips at the moment, uh, do have a spare, and obviously this here, when I turn it on, is, oh, I've accidentally turned it on already, so obviously it's got a black screen. So that was not unexpected. So, yay for that. Um, okay. Right. So what we'll do is, just out of interest. Uh, just pause this a second. Okay, so just got to grab the dead test harness to see what it does. I'm not really expecting anything from here. So, I'll probably have to do some analysis to see if I can work out where things are going. Which is really, really, really annoying. Okay, let's get the cartridge in. Come on. Yep. Let's just get all the other test stuff there. Test stuff on. That's the right way up. Um, the joystick ones. What we've got. Port one, port two. This should be port one. Which one is port one? Port one. So yeah, so I'm expecting this to have a blank screen as well. Because everything seems to give me a blank screen. So let's turn that on. And that's gonna be the well, voltage and stuff is okay and blank screen so that wasn't unexpected um okay let's turn it off a sec well we've got tests here low 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 Oops. low 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 is a standard dead test let's just try the other one out of interest uh where is it so it's high, low, low. So that should be high, low, low. And game. I'm expecting that to be blank screen as well. Yep, blank screen as well. Well, this is turning rubbish. So let's try again uh, with a fur some further analysis. Some other point. Something here is not going well obviously 